Time now, 947 on this Saturday morning. It is time for Imagine It. Carl Nelson is here, and um, we're going to do a little bit of uh, acid and base testing today, right? Exactly. It's okay. the holiday time. People are going to parties. They're overeating. Somebody at some yeah. point is going to reach for an antacid. Yes. So I thought we'd talk about that sort of acid-base chemistry, like you said. So what's happening then in your... Uh your digestion stomach. as exactly. it's happening. Exactly. Okay. Now your stomach needs to sort of maintain a certain acidity level for digestion to happen. Okay. Now if you eat too much, you might get a little excess acid in your stomach, and then chemists will talk about that as a pH level. Right. pH zero being acid, 14 being base, right. seven being neutral. We're gonna do something way simpler. We're gonna use color. Okay, to look I like at. that. So this liquid, go ahead and start dripping that into our little vortex of water here. This is an acid base indicator, and you're gonna need to keep okay. squirting quite a few. It only drips out. This will change color based on the acidity or alkalinity of the liquid. All right, That's that pretty good? good. That's pretty right. good. Now from that color, I can tell that this water is kind of alkaline. Okay. It's got a purplish color. Sure. Now this is a little hydrochloric acid. If we were to drip a little bit of this into our water, oh, it's gonna get we lighter, right? will start to see it turn oh, yeah. yellowish, greenish, and then eventually it's gonna turn red. Okay. Wow, so all the way down the scale, okay. Exactly, so that's gonna be our sort of our baseline. The purple is gonna be alkaline or base, okay. and the red or yellow is gonna be acid. Right. Now, we've got a stomach that's acidic. Right, right? So we're need gonna, to soothe it. We're gonna soothe it, we're gonna try to bring down that excess acidity. Here's a little milk of magnesia. Okay, which you can find in the grocery store if you have the upset stomach, right? Correct, Okay. Um, it's an antacid, now dump the whole thing, and okay. that's a full dose. And what, two things are happening here. One, the color is switching mm -hmm. to that greenish color. Right. It's moved away from the acidity. Back to the neutral. neutral. Okay. And also it's cloudy. Mm -hmm. So the cool thing about milk of magnesia is it doesn't all dissolve in the water right away. It okay. makes a suspension. So there's a little bit of milk of magnesia that dissolved. Mm -hmm. That neutralized the acid. Now gotcha. here is where you're going to start squirting in some more acid. Okay. So give a, give a good squirt there. And oh, you can see wow. it'll start to turn a little bit pink at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, absolutely. Keep, keep doing that. And what you're doing is every time you squirt some acid in, and let it go back, let it Ooh, let that changing. Looks... Every time you squirt some acid in, the magnesium hydroxide in the milk of magnesia will come out of solution and neutralize the acid. Oh, okay. So a little bit each time starts to dissolve. In fact, the solubility of it wow. depends upon the acidity. Sure. Now, this is good because what this does, it sort of buffers the acidity in your stomach. Sure. You keep pumping in acid, it keeps turning red, but then it keeps going back to be more neutral. Right. Now eventually, you're gonna run out of milk and magnesia. That dose is gonna run out, The dose right? is gonna run out, and then it's gonna sh overshoot into the red. In okay. fact, if you want, you could get rid of the pipette, and you could just dump a little bit of acid right in there. Dump the whole thing in, let's see what happens. Okay. Now, you put so much acid in that it has actually caused all the milk and magnesia to dissolve into the water. Uh huh. And. Oh, wow, the, yeah. It's completely turning clear. Uh, completely clear. Mm -hmm. So at this point, you've used up your dose of antacid, and, um, you know, it's time to slow down, whatever yeah. you're doing. At that point, you have a stomach that is just in knots, right? <laughs> Correct. Correct. You, you've upset that delicate balance because you need the pH to be around two to four in your stomach during digestion so the enzymes can break the food down. Okay, nice. So. Hey, good to know. Well, I mean, so, something as simple as milk and magnesia <laughs> then is going to at least help you for that short term, and then if it continues to be upset, you're going to have to give it those additional doses. Correct. So. And it's a short term solution. It's not, you know, doctors say don't, you're not going to really use this all well, the time. Well, sure, right. But for those in there, yeah, every so often. For the often, holiday parties, there right, you go. Carl? Exactly. All exactly. Right. Sounds good. Well, um, if you would like to check out any of the experiments, a lot of times Carl and the team, you guys are down there doing live experiments throughout the day, oh, right? Absolutely. And today is Saturday, so Lucas County residents 12 and under get in free. All right. We have Sesame Street, Elmo's around. Oh. Come down, check it out. Elmo's around, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for this week's Imagine It. If you would like to go down to the Imagination Station, once again, they are open today and tomorrow, so you can go down there and check out all the fun things that they have. Yeah. And that's going to do it for this week's Imagine It. Carl, thanks so much for coming in. One last look at those hours there for you. And from there, we're going to toss it over to Joe. He's got to check sports.